My Aqualink RS indoor control panel has no power and nothing on the screen. It has worked well years, but seems to have gone off suddenly. Jim I am here to help you with your question. Reading your information you stated you turned the outside control box to service then off. Do you mean you turned off the main breaker and then turned the breaker back on? 1. Turn off breaker second then back on. I don't recommend doing much additional electric work if you're not knowledgeable with electrical work or this panel. Inside the panel is high voltage that can kill and low voltage that can short out expensive computer boards if not handled properly. At the indoor remote panel. 2. Remove panel from wall holder. 3. Find red 4 pin connector on back of panel. 4. Check the voltage between the red and green wires at the red terminal bar, terminals 1 and 4. What is the voltage between these wires? We can continue to communicate here until you are satisfied I have answered your question. Then, I put a meter to the red and green and got a reading of 3.5 using the 200 volt setting. So it seems that there is power to the indoor board. 5. If you have a 50V setting on your voltmeter, recheck indoor panel on that setting to get a more accurate reading. I assume you have a digital meter and setting to 50V may not be necessary. 5A What was voltage this time? 5B If it was less than 7V or 8V go to step 6. 5C If it is between 810V, check polarity. Red plus, green. Were polarities correct? 6. Go to outdoor power panel and check the red 4 pin connector at the same wire terminals. What was voltage between red and green terminals on the panel? I'm at my office and I will perform the steps when I get home. I don't recall a 50 volt setting on my meter but I will check. How do I check the polarities? I don't know how to do this. In order to test at the outdoor panel, I will have to take off the front plate, correct? My thought at this point is that the indoor board went bad. The fact that I have power means that the wires weren't damaged or disconnected in some way. Is there a way to check the board? Jim Polarity testing, connect voltmeter positive test lead to positive wire, red. Connect neg test lead to neg wire, green. You should get a positive reading. If you reverse wires, plus test lead to, wire G, test lead to plus wire or you should get a negative reading of the same voltage. If both conditions are met, then your polarities at the indoor panel are correct. Likewise if conditions are not met, then polarities are not correct. Well, right now we are not getting enough voltage to the remote panel to illuminate it, so now we need to find the source of power loss. We're going to check outdoor PCB or a damaged wire between panel and PCB. Yes, you will have to remove the front panel to access the red 4 pin connector outside. Caution safety, if you're not trained to work around high and low voltages, I don't recommend doing electric work if you're not knowledgeable with electrical work or this panel. Inside the panel is high voltage wires that can kill and low voltage connections that can short out expensive computer boards if not handled properly. I went to the outside box opened it and found the same 4-wire connector. 
Using the same 200 volt setting on my digital meter, I got a reading of 21.0 versus the 3.5 on the indoor. Regarding the polarity, I get no reading unless I move the dial to 200 volts which has three dots and a bar above it. Using that setting I get 9.9 .9 outside and 1.9 inside. What is next? You should be checking voltage with DC, which would be a line with dots below it. So, if you're getting 9.9 .9 DCV at PCB and only 1.9 at remote panel it sounds like the cable from PCB to remote is shorted and probably needs to be replaced. Only other thing it could be would be that indoor remote is more than 100 yards away and wire is smaller than 22 AWG. I doubt this is your issue. Let's bypass cable going from PCB to indoor. Do you have extra 4 wire cable connected to outdoor that you can cut off in control box? Any length will do, but 11.5 would be easiest to work with. If not you want to get some. Even just a few inches will work, but it makes working with the wires a little harder. You're going to use it to connect remote at the control panel. Before you cut wire, make sure you still have enough wire to still connect original cable back to PCB. 1. Power down everything. 2. With wire still connected to 4 pin, make one cut to wire at appropriate length. 3. Strip the ends of the 4 wires still connected to 4 pin to expose only about 1 eighth of an inch of wire. This will be your bypass cable. 3. Remove indoor remote and disconnect wires from 4 pin terminal. 4. Take remote and 4 pin term to outdoor control panel. 5. Connect bypass cable wires to remote 4 pin in the same color slash terminal as you see it connected on the PCB. 6. Verify color slash terminals are the same on both connectors. 1 red, 2 black, 3 yellow, 4 green. 7. Place remote so it is not hanging from cable and make sure no wires or any of the circuit boards will not make contact with anything that could ground them out including making contact with the control box itself. 8. Power everything back up. Does the remote display come back on? 9. If remote works or does not work, Repeat testing DCV at both connectors before disconnecting anything. What are voltages at PCB and remote terminals? There is always the chance that the short cable used to bypass is the bad wire, so the next thing to do would be to 10. Power everything back down. 11. Reinstall remote back indoors. 12. At control panel, strip remaining cable and reattach to 4 pin PCB. 13. Power everything back up. Does remote panel now work? What is DCV at remote panel now? If we're really lucky, the bad part of cable was cut out and everything works. Probably though a new 22AWG4 wire cable needs to be run. If run is longer then you will need to use heavier wire. Let me know how all this goes, Bill. I took the indoor panel outside and connected the four wires. The panel came to life. I traced the wiring and found a poor connection where it entered the house. I checked each wire and found one loose. I soldered all four connections because they were only twisted and taped. 
I reconnected the panel inside and all works well. Thanks, Jim. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.